My focus is taking offshore wind global, working with GWEC on that theme, also uh, with the World Bank Group, and joining those together, bringing an opportunity for developing countries to start to embrace offshore wind. Nothing better than to bring them to the UK as the leading market, and the delegates are saying they had no appreciation of the reality of offshore wind and are inspired to take it home to their countries and just plant the seeds of creating the same effect into their economy. Coming to North East England is something that was uh, selected by the Global Wind Energy Council. And to be honest with you, before coming here, I wasn't exactly sure where we were coming, apart from knowing that this is where offshore wind happens. Now, what I can say at the end of this visit is I'm delighted we've been here. And the reason is that we saw what is possible we saw this amazing industry that is happening. We saw all the development and the studies and the research that is happening in North East England. And it's been fascinating. I think it's a wonderful place to learn a lot about offshore wind. North East England is an exemplar for the offshore wind industry because we've spent many years working in heavy engineering, in shipbuilding, in offshore oil and gas. We've now taken that expertise into offshore wind and with that um, has come a lot of economic benefit. The supply chain are benefiting, the local industry, we have lots of inward investment coming into the region so we can see the benefits which are coming through now. The delegation have come to North East England because they see this region as world leading when it comes to offshore wind clusters. They've been to London for a couple of days, they've heard about what's happening from a policy perspective, they've come to the northeast of England, they've seen offshore wind in action. That has made a real difference to how they think they can take that experience back to their own countries and develop an offshore wind industry. This visit has been very interesting in the sense that we've all read about a lot of reports about uh, the offshore wind and how the industry has been growing but to actually see it, meet all these companies, they've been very welcoming and they've shared so much with us. So I think it's been a great learning experience that we've all really enjoyed. I'm so impressed with everything I've seen for last few days. The thing I'm more impressed is the way people feel proud of what they have done, how they see they're very optimistic about their work and how they have very clear visions of what they can achieve in the next five or ten years. We're glad that I've been here and learned a lot. I was also wondering you know, how Vietnam can learn from the UK. If any chance that in UK Vietnam we can work together to bring the technology, experience and knowledge from the UK and we work together to benefit the two countries. My impression about the northern East England, um, the people are warm, friendly, the hospitality is excellent, the food is nice. What struck me most was the, the development in the offshore wind industry, how the economic spin-off from the growth of the supply chain, that I'm really very much impressed. There is a whole lot of things that, that, that we can learn from you guys. It really opened my eyes because it's a great opportunity, not only for Costa Rica needs for electricity, but also we are getting in a new decarbonization program so for us it's very important to get in in the possibility to research in new sources of energy between the offshore wind. So we need to prepare the new roadmap for the Costa Rican energy portfolio. This last two days experience has been an eye-opener. From uh, Indian perspective what we are looking at is very large uh, capacity additions in the renewable sector including offshore. We are hugely impressed with the way the Northeast has progressed over last few years in offshore sector. It's a wonderful experience. We thought uh, North East England is much freer and more dynamic and we had a very good time looking at the enterprise and the amount of diligence that has been done, especially in the offshore wind sector and other industrial activities. It will be great if we can come again. I was so surprised by seeing the facilities and the, how the uh, North England developed the wind facilities and the offshore facilities, port facilities and everything is really fa fantastic and Sri Lanka also we are thinking to go ahead with the, the offshore wind in near future so that uh, we can utilize these facilities uh, very much because it's well developed. What I saw during this week is something very very interesting for me. I found like another kind of of way of doing business, a conjunction between the private sector and public sector working together in order to develop a new industry. That is something very interesting. It's not so common in my country. So I am taking to my country a lot of experiences and a good practice of business. 
So I think what the delegates must have taken away, which is very significant, I think they all have an idea about offshore wind, they read the notes, uh, they, we see the pictures, you know, we can see things on YouTube, but actually seeing firsthand the scale of what is happening here, what it means for economic development, what it means for jobs, and the potential it has to change the energy mix is incredible. And I'm sure that this is what they will be taking back in terms of that this is the technology that is happening today. It can benefit economically developing their own countries. And I think the other thing obviously that they will take back is the knowledge, the capacities that you already have developed here in Northeast England. And everything that is underway and to come must have been very valuable for them to see what is happening and what is to come. One of the things we wanted to do early on was to have an event like this and we want to also repeat these kinds of events. This has been in our thoughts for quite a while. And offshore wind is growing fast. Just the response to it has been amazing. There's been a real interest from the countries themselves, from the industry. Coming up here in Northeast England has been amazing. Well, our job is to try to figure out how to help them you know, accelerate that. Some of the countries here do already have some plans on offshore wind, but quite a few don't and are just even starting to think about it or hadn't really thought about it a huge amount yet. One of the things we wanted to do with this event was to encourage people to, to think maybe what what's next step do we need to take. Uh, maybe it's with our, our assistance, maybe not, to really think through what are the big issues, what are the kinds of things we need to take back to our politicians uh, to put this on their radar and also some of the technical studies that might be needed.